Tony, a free two defeat away at Torquay today. What was your take on the match? Obviously, result-wise, really, really disappointing. Um, listen, Torquay, we know what we're all about. Uh, we worked on it. They're going to get balls up to the front two, who are a big handful. They're going to back in. They're going to win the headers. They're going to get midfield runners in beyond, and they're going to get balls in the box. And we conceded three goals um, from them scenarios, which is always difficult. And let's say we give ourselves a mountain to climb. And yeah, we had a go in the end, um, and we made it interesting with the late goal. But you, you just can't give teams three goals like we did. Yeah, as you mentioned, you've had a good go. You've had plenty of chances as periods of a game where you're on top, but you can't give teams a two-goal head start, can you? No, you can't start games of football like that, um, and it, it shouldn't take till we're two 0 down to then start implementing our style on them and play the way we know we were going to get joy from and when we did that like you say we got joy and um, we had chances hit the woodwork a couple of times things flashed across the front we've had scuffed a couple of shots and like I say keeps pulled off some good saves as well so yeah we've had chances um, and that's probably the only positive um, because the result is obviously a, a massive negative. A couple of controversies around a couple of decisions, plus maybe an offside in the build-up to the first goal and questions around the penalty as well. What's your, what was your take on those? Well, initially I thought it was offside um, and that's why I appealed to the linesman. He says it's not. Some people have, have now said they think it is, but I haven't seen it. I'll be honest, I haven't seen it back. Um, but the line has come to me and said if it is, then he'll apologise. Uh, but it means nothing now and like I say, I just said earlier, I can't stand here and start blaming the officials because um, we know that they're not going to help us and they're going to make bad decisions, they're going to make mistakes. Um, I thought it was a soft penalty as well, but listen, he's given it and like I say, he hasn't given the offside and they've scored from it. Mitch Hancock's took a red card for something that happened after the final whistle, so a suspension for him now, how big of a blow is that? Yeah, it's a massive blow, uh, it's a massive blow to Mitch himself uh, and to his teammates. And he's apologised in there. Um, he's had a moment of madness and he knows it. And like I say, he's, his biggest thing now is he's going to miss three games and two massive games of this season. Um, so he'll be a big miss. Um, but like I say, he, he's apologised to everyone. He knows he shouldn't have done it. Um, and he's obviously frustrated and he's lost his head a little bit. But his biggest punishment, like I said, is he's now going to miss three games of football. We've got to touch on the fans as well, more than 400 making a long trip like that. We're going to need the support now for these fans too. Yeah. yeah, the fans were the fans were unbelievable. Um, even just walking around the place yesterday, um, there was a real good good feeling amongst the fans. Um, they're really supportive, and like I say, we we as staff, as players, as everyone associated with York, we appreciate it. And I can't ask them enough uh, to keep coming in numbers like they did today. It was unbelievable. The long trip that it is, and they're coming down here in the numbers and. They got right behind and even at the end there, uh, we've lost the game but I think they were all there still at the end supporting and clapping the boys off and like I say, we, we did have a go in the end but just we give ourselves a mountain to climb. Have you had a chance to speak to Mikey about how is he at the moment? He's getting better, um, he is he is improving, he's still obviously, he's still obviously poorly so like I say, hopefully over the, the next couple of days he, he, he fully recovers and he's back on the training ground with us Monday. Yeah, I'm back on the training ground to prepare for what now feels like a crucial game at home next weekend. Yeah, that's what I just said to the players, listen, and I speak about it all the time, uh, about football giving you an opportunity, and the next opportunity is Saturday. Um, and now we know we've got a long trip, but recovery starts now. Um, we'll be back on the training ground Monday morning. Smiles on our faces, because I don't do disappointment, I don't do hangovers. Uh, we don't come onto the training ground with, with any sad faces. We need all the energy, we need everybody. Um, associate with with the football club to stick together and we've got to get the job done and we've got to go and beat Ultra.